A hometown hero received his homecoming celebration today. Captain Larry Taylor received the Medal of Honor from President Joe Biden last Tuesday. News 12's Nick Hill learned what today's ceremonies meant to Captain Larry Taylor and those he saved. The sights. The sound. Mean the world to Medal of Honor recipient Captain Larry Taylor and the lone surviving member of the four men he saved in Vietnam 45 years ago, Sergeant Dave Hill. Larry Taylor had his own motto, leave no man behind, and he never did. For him it meant don't leave him on the ground. Sergeant Hill was part of a reconnaissance team that got surrounded by the Viet Cong on the night of June 18, 1968. He couldn't land in the middle, he would have been shot, shot all up. Um, had those left grenades, that was it. So sayonara, you're not going to defend yourself with, with, with a knife. Captain Taylor was able to save those four men that night, altering their family's trajectories. It's an act that retired Army General B.B. Bell said should have been recognized sooner. Dave's outfit was located 40 kilometers away from Larry's outfit. And so the, the next morning when it was time to do the post-combat interviews, would you have gotten in your handy-dandy Jeep and driven 40 miles to enemy territory to talk to Dave? Not on your life, because you would have been killed going up there. For Dave Hill, he says there are multiple lessons you can take from Captain Taylor's heroism and bravery during that dark night in Vietnam. Prepare yourself, have a code to live by, a code of honor, uh, principles you can fall back on, and no matter what it is, don't give up. Captain Taylor says he is grateful for the recognition. You couldn't ask for better. Uh, that's what it's all about. You realize that those people on the ground are your brothers. If you have been on the other foot, they would stop for you. In Chattanooga, Nick Hill, News 12.